What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in Miami at the Webster with music, fashion, and all-around pop culture icon, Pharrell. What's up, bro? How you doing? Going to do some sneaker shopping today. Going to see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's going to buy some sneakers. Yes, sir. Let's go. Pharrell, early on you said that designing sneakers was less about you and putting your face on sneakers and more about fulfilling a childhood dream. Wow, man, you're so good at this. That's crazy. You're like so <laughs> Thank you. polished. Thank you. Um, maybe you, you wanted to do what you're doing like all your life. Absolutely. And I think that's what I always want to feel is that like I'm still striving in the name of ambition of just trying to like mm -hmm. conquer. Yeah, so I think that's what, what goes in the process of everything that I design and my team works on. And then you get the nickname Skateboard P in high school. Were you wearing like Vans, low profile sneakers? Well, that nickname wasn't from high school as much as it was about being in the industry at the time and okay. there wasn't really anybody in that world mm -hmm. or from our world. And it was an homage to that part, that time in my life, okay. which was in high school. So it was a call that. It. Like that just was, that's what everybody did at that age. Like everybody skated. Even being young, do you remember like what shoes you were wearing? Yeah, for sure. Vans were the most affordable. And you know, Jordans was always like the coveted thing. Mm -hmm. Like I always wanted like J's, but you know, we couldn't afford them. And so it was like Vans. And at a point, like sometimes we veered off the path and had like air walks. Oh, then, air walks. Then there was a moment where I had like some visions. Yeah. It came up, Tony Hawk was big on air walk and, and like vision streetwear around yeah. that time. Yeah, the vision streetwear was like, that was a moment. Cause it kind of like they had the show of like what the Adidas was doing. And yeah. Adidas at that time was like king of all kings. Obviously because of the Run DMC song, that was yes. like the eighties. And they like really rode that wave. Even Jordan himself wanted to play there. It's really serendipitous that I end up you know, working with Adidas and our partnership. That was like my first pair of shoes that I ever purchased myself was yeah. Adidas. But before that, up to my mom and dad's devices, it's like the skate shoes were yeah. much more affordable. Totally. Fast forwarding a little bit, you go to Japan mm -hmm. and you're looking for a studio to record in. Mm -hmm. And you hear about this guy through your jeweler, Jacob the jeweler, yeah. Nigo, yeah. and he offers his studio up to you, but you go to his atelier, you see apparel and you see these sneakers apes for the first time. Right. Well, that was a thing where, first of all, Tokyo and Japan itself is a different dimension altogether. When you first get there, you feel the calm, you feel the humility of the people, you feel a lot of the stuff that they have gone through culturally. And so when I went to his showroom, it was like that feeling times 10. Because here's a guy that created this space is full on, like you're walking through his thoughts and his imagination. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at this guy and I'm going, you absolutely lived out every one of your dreams and turned them into businesses. I was like, it, it exists. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a real thing. So my mind was blown. And then when I looked at the Bape stuff for the first time, I was like, that's not a Nike. <sighs> right. I mean, we love Nike, yeah, right? Of course. Like even us at Adidas, we mm -hmm. love Nike. Like mm -hmm. Adidas, Folks at Nike love it, like, like yeah. they love us, like, right? So I can say that. Yeah. I'm just in case anybody's a little like shocked and <laughs> thrown off by that. I was like, this is not a Nike. This is something else. It's, you know, taking inspiration of the Air Force One mm -hmm. and just blew it out to another place. You know, all the little fine details. Uh, when you look at the the height of the actual like outer sole. Mm -hmm. When you look at like the materials that he chose to use. FedEx always delivers. Um, I like that. It's ambiance. Miami's turning into the new New York and Vegas. Like, we gotta let these things happen. So when you look at like all the little fine, little small details, my mind knew something was very, very different. Yeah. But like slight sophisticated levels up. He would pick a colorway. If it had three different colors, he would do three different iterations of that colorway. Mm -hmm. And I saw like, 50 to 100 shoes. And I was just like, I just wanted one pair. Yeah, yeah. And I'm a sample size. Okay. So he was like, take them all. Wow, amazing. And that's how I felt. Okay. What you're saying? Yeah. Is I was doing that. Okay. I was like, really standing there like, wow, life is good. Yes. Cause I knew what I was about to go back to America and do. 
is wreak havoc. With him? Yes, and, and we did. That was when you were like, gotta go to America and we gotta figure out how we're gonna work together. And then early on, 2004, Drop It Like It's Hot video. Mm -hmm. Remember, I'm in college, it comes out with Snoop, the lyric, I'm a nice dude, it's some nice dreams, see these ice cubes, see these ice creams, and you close up to the camera with the new shoes yeah. that you just created with this guy, but they're blurred out. Yeah. Do you remember like that part of the world? I remember being so upset would be very pointy a question. Okay. I remember being so upset with BET, like, how are y'all doing this? But then you gotta realize it's Viacom mm -hmm. and they pretty much make money off of anything that airs. Okay. Right? You know, they own the air. So BET did that they were, though. They were, yeah, they blurred it out and I was like, <sighs> man, like, but it ended up working in our favor because then people really wanted to see it. And I thought it was conscious from you doing that because you didn't want to show it yet. No, I had to catch up to that. Okay, interesting. I had to catch up to that. My mind wasn't there. I was all about like giving and sharing, as I still am. Yes. Um, within reason. Okay. But at that point, like that was something that trolling really started like Pay picking. for play. Yeah. It like really became like a thing. For real, a lot of classics on this table. We have the Sourcem from Flight Club and King of Creams, a collector of your hits through the years. So let's get into some of these like iconic sneakers. Something that has stood up the test of time, this NERD Dunk. Yes, sir. Part of the Artist Series, it came around that time. Do you remember anything about this project? I don't even know if I've seen you wear these. I definitely wore them. I just don't know if I ever wore them for a shoot. Okay. But yeah, that was like a, again, that was a different time. I was super inspired by this new brand at the time, I think Caroline from Chopard was married to this guy, uh, De Grigiano, and he was doing these watches that I think had, where the, the bands were made of like eel skin, no, 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 um, Stingray, which doesn't sound right, but it's one of those. Okay. And I just thought the texture of it was so cool, and so when they asked, did, you know, did we want to do a dunk, I was like, yeah, let's do it with that. And we tried as hard as we could, and I, and I think the closest we came to the execution was something that I personally wasn't happy with because it felt more like a basketball's Got it. texture. Okay. But shoe turned out good, but what I wanted to do was, was it had more texture. Got it, got yeah. it, interesting. And now they go for a ton of money and like this whole dunk reemergence is crazy. So these are heavily in the conversation. Yeah, my boy Nino was the one that like- Scalia. Yeah. Okay. Nino was the one that like really helped me like source out a lot of dunks in the very beginning. Cause got once it. I dove in, I like really dove in. We talked about Nigo downstairs, but like 2006, the Roadsta, your character. Yes, sir your face, and then this one. Talk about getting these two collaborations. That was like an ode to like this low top ACG moment. Okay. From like the 80s, the Roadster silhouette. We were able to have like the bubble in the back. All of that was homage. Got it. You know. And then fast forwarding, the Chanel Pharrell NMD. Releases at Colette, 500 pairs. You are a Chanel ambassador, but like Chanel putting their name on a sportswear brand. Did you like build with Carl on it even? Yes, yes. And then, you know, it was one of those like one and done things. Okay. Carl was super kind to me. Mm -hmm. I, I learned a lot um, from him. There was a couple of collections he did where there was a nod toward like as aspects of my life and he would show them things, those yeah. things to me. And so when I was able to like do the NMD shoe, like, cause he named our collaboration, you know, Chanel Pharrell. Yes. That was his idea. And the shoes as well. Cause I was like, what do I put on there? He was mm -hmm. like, oh, Chanel Pharrell, of course. Yeah. And I was like, I never put my name on a That's shoe true. that That's boldly. true. That's true. And how was I going to tell him no? So then we went on to do the, the, the collection together and that was great too. Yeah, absolutely, the shoes, they had like a lot of art on them and the pearls and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this Chanel on a sportswear brand is, yeah. is a, definitely a moment. And then, and then, you know, it ended up being one of those shoes that like the numbers on them were crazy. Limited. Yeah, yeah, the sell, like, I mean, just in terms of like resale value. Oh, crazy. New silhouette, the Cichona. Yeah. They're coming out. Talk yeah. about this model and what you're excited about with this model. Well, the sole itself sort of accentuates like the way the foot operates and, and how we walk. Obviously, all shoes are supposed to do that, but you sort of see it in a design. You mm -hmm. see it hints of 
that expression in the soul. I and mean, obviously the way it bleeds into the upper, you know, that's something that I feel like um, Adidas has done really well in the past couple of years. And then for us, you know, with human race, it's about being close to the earth. Tachona itself is earth. That's a Native American word. Okay. And we've reached out to our indigenous brothers and sisters for okay. not only the blessing, but the right word. Mm -hmm. My guy, DJ Two Bears, the Standing Rock Suit, the Arikara, okay. out in North Dakota. That was a good feeling. I think for us, it's just like, we just want to give people something that brings them a little bit closer to the, to the earth, to ground them. Even like from the start, the Super Color Project with all those 50 superstars. So it's like yeah. a lesson in kind of like inclusion and things like that. Yeah. And then another thing that you've debuted a few days ago, the NMD. Have you like gave them a wear test? I worked on it with them. Okay. Yeah, we wrestled to get it to this place. Got it. And we feel really good about it. That's why I was in them and yeah. mine are coming shortly. We wanted to get that right. Awesome. That, that constellation had to be, every star needed to be in the right place in order to make the design that people could see and feel, you know? You're always about next, you're always looking forward, but Lil Uzi Vert, he's an 18 year old kid, I think he's in class, and yeah. he's wearing the board flips on the desk. Crazy. And then, a couple weeks ago, he helps to unveil this new silhouette. Yeah. Full circle moment. Yeah. You've seen everything in this industry, in the music industry, but those moments to like, obviously you're, you're like their North Star when it comes to influence. What's it like to see? Uh, that was a pleasure, because mm -hmm. that's low bro, and yeah. we do work, and you know, he's just, he's a visionary himself. Um, he's the guy with the pink diamond as a third eye. Yes. That was, that was awesome. I'm always honored, because all those guys are like rock stars. Definitely. Like, I don't even know what that is anymore, mm -hmm. but I know that current position is held by like, that generation, the, the, the Gen Zers. They're the ones that are like forging forward and yeah. blazing trails. I don't, I don't know, I don't know how to answer that except it's, to say that I'm just honored. Okay, you know, like I don't know about being their North Star, but I'm just happy to be a part of the, their sky. Got it. Lastly, let's we'll start with the green colorway. Are they all going to drop at the same time, or we're going to have a staggered release? Uh, I think the first thing people are going to get are the blue. Okay. Um, These are friends and family. Yeah, that's friends and family on the Human Race site. Okay. By the way, humanrace.com. I don't know when the, the yellow and there's also a burgundy coming. Okay. Yeah. So, Pharrell came through, we went through his sneaker history, didn't even have to shop. Thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you, man. Make sure you check out the new drop. Yes, sir. Adidas everywhere.